This is my old trusty F91W and this is an A700W. In this video, I will attempt to transfer the module from the A700W to the F91W. As you may know that the F91W's backlight is one of its weaknesses, while the A700W is equipped with a much better backlight. Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. I created this video following a brief discussion in the comment section and I came across information where someone replaced their 593 module from an older watch, not the F91, with a module 3472 from the A700. So why not give it a try to F91W? Now let's disassemble the F91W. I remove the screws and then open the back plate and then pry out the module. I'm not a professional watchmaker or repairer, so you might notice some incorrect steps here and there. And yes, if you have any suggestion, put in the comment below. Okay, here's the F91W module 593. And here you can also see an NFC tag that I installed earlier for another modification. Next, let's also disassemble the A700. The screw is a bit tough to loosen on this one, not to mention that I'm doing this while my face is partially blocked by the camera. Here's how it looks side by side with the module from the F91W. Now I pry it open. And indeed, both have similar size but different thicknesses. Now let's see the backlight in action. Okay, it's time to install the A700 module into the F91 casing. I made a mistake here, I should have pushed out the button pushers before fitting in the module. After putting the module in place, it's done and the backlight works well. Now I'm putting the F91W case back on. The backlight still works well, but due to its height or thickness, there's an issue with the buzzer. It doesn't beep. So first, I pull out the metal tab to establish a connection. And then also replace the connecting spring with a longer one. So now, time for some DIY trick. I cut open a spring bar, remove the spring, and then trim it to fit the case back position. On the first try, it turns out to be too long, so I cut it again. Leaving it just about 1 or 2 millimeters longer than the original. And it looks better now. Time for a test. Okay, the buzzer works again. It's beeping now. And it's time to tighten back all the screws.
Now let's store the components. I'm not sure how long I want to keep this modification as I plan to return both watches to their original condition. And here's the result. An F91W with a significantly improved backlight. All the buttons and the buzzer work perfectly. So in summary, the A700 module can fit inside the F91W. You just need to make some modification to the buzzer contacts. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful and I'll see you again in the next one. Have a great day.